Does the sacrament of confession still work if the priest doesn't personally forgive the one confessing? Does Jesus still act and forgive their sin? So this is probably the easiest question I can answer because the answer is yes. The sin is forgiven. Now, to go a little bit further into this, um, when we talk about the sacraments, we're talking about ultimately the action of Christ. We say that the sacraments are valid ex opere operato. They're, they're done from the work having been done or having been worked. Um, and this became a very big thing back in the fourth century um, with St. Augustine, actually. He was very big uh, on this discussion. Um, so to give a little bit of context, this is called the Donatist Controversy, if you want to look it up for yourself. Um, but there was a bishop named Donatist, um, uh, Don, uh, Donatus, um, and he and his followers uh, were living in the time right after the persecutions. Now, during the time of the persecutions, we remember the great saints who were martyrs for the faith, who gave their lives. However, there were also many, many Christians, including priests and bishops, that when faced with persecution, when faced with death, denied Christ. Um, however, after the Edict of Milan, after Christianity was uh, permitted throughout the empire, many of these priests and bishops tried to return to the church. Um, and Donatus uh, looked at this and says, well, how can this be? Like, they denied Christ, how can they still be a priest? How can they still be a bishop? And so Donatus said that if any person was baptized by a priest that had fallen away from the church, um, that had denied Christ, their baptism would be invalid. So that's what Donatus said. Donatus said. However, St. Augustine pointed out quite quite correctly, that that is silly. Like, the one that does the sacrament is Jesus himself. It doesn't matter whether or not the priest is holy, whether or not the priest knows what's going on. It's all about the action of Christ present in this. And so a priest could deny Christ and then immediately do a baptism, and the baptism would be valid because it's not about the priest. It's about Jesus, Jesus acting. And the same is true in all of the sacraments. All of the sacraments, it is Jesus himself who acts. In the case of confession, even if a priest uh, doesn't personally forgive the sin, even if, uh, for example, a person confesses a sin that uh, directly involved that priest, if, uh, when the sacrament of confession is given, when the absolution is given, it's not the priest's absolution per se, it is Christ's absolution. So the priest can continue to hold that grudge doesn't matter about whether or not the sin is forgiven um, because it is done by Christ himself.